I am Anil Kumar and in this series of trigonometric equations we have taken a few examples based on quadratic type of functions with two different trigonometric ratios so that's critical so here we need to solve trigonometric equation which is 5 tan x plus secant squared x plus 2 equals to 0 domain of the solution is from 0 to 2 pi both included now whenever you have such a situation you should think about Pythagorean trigonometric identities which relate these trigonometric ratios so we have 1 plus tan square x as equals to secant square x correct so you could replace secant square x by 1 plus tan square x thereby getting a quadratic equation in just tan that should help you to solve this question so you can now pause the video answer the question and then look into my suggestions so we'll begin by writing the equation which is 5 tan x and substituting 1 plus tan square x for secant square x so that is our first step plus 2 equals to 0 now we need to rearrange it it's always better to write it in a particular order highest degree first right so tan square x plus 5 tan x plus 2 plus 1 which is 3 equals to 0 so that is what you get now we need to factor this now tan square x plus 5 tan x plus 3 this cannot really be factored right because we are looking for product of 3 as sum of 5 that's not possible so one way to do it is to use quadratic formula right so the quadratic formula is uh, is that the solution x normally we'll use tan x minus b plus minus square root b square minus 4ac over 2a right so let's use this formula for us the variable is not just x it is tan x so we get tan x equals to minus b is a coefficient of this term which is 5 so minus 5 plus minus square root of minus 5 square minus 4 times ac which is 1 and 3 right divided by 2 times a so it is 2 times 1 now this could be written as minus 5 plus minus square root of 25 minus 12 4 times 3 right over 2 now so we could calculate this value it will give us two possible values for tan x let's use the calculator so we have let's find the square root term first so we have square root of 25 minus 12 equals to square root 13 okay so so one answer is uh, we have minus 5 plus square root 13 right divided by 2 so we use plus and we can write it in decimals it is minus 0 0.6972 the other one is minus 5 minus square root 13 divided by 2 right uh, in decimals it is minus 4.3027 so we are taking four decimal places in this particular example this one was with positive sign this one was with negative sign right so that was the result so from here when we get tan x as this so x is equals to tan inverse of this number which is which is uh, okay now here's a critical thing to understand we got both these answers as negative so so what value of x could we take we're looking for all possible answers in the domain 0 to 2 pi so let's consider this the the rule suggests that all are positive in quadrant 1 sine in quadrant 2 tan in quadrant 3 and cosine in quadrant 4 now for a negative value what we have here is tan is negative in quadrant 2 
and in quadrant 4. So we are looking for each, we'll have two different solutions. Is it okay? Two different solutions for each, right? So what we do here is, uh, we really want to find what x is, but what we'll do here is, we'll find the acute angle alpha for a positive value, right? So first let's find acute angle alpha for positive value of 0 0.6972, okay? Once we get this value, then we can find the two solutions as these will be 180 minus alpha since that is the answer. The other one will be, uh, since we are doing in radians, 2 pi minus alpha and the other one pi minus alpha, correct? So those are the two solutions. Okay, so let's do this. So in this particular case, alpha will be shift tan inverse 0.6972. It is important to find the related acute angle first. Is that okay? So we get 0 0.6088. So, so that's the answer in radians. So that is the acute angle alpha, which is 0 0.6088. Is that okay? Now this angle alpha gives us two solutions. One will be pi minus this, 0 0.6088. The other one will be 2 pi minus 0 0.6088, correct? So let's calculate these. So, so we'll do pi minus 0 0.6088. That's the first solution, which is 2 point, let's write this as 5, 3. The other one is, 2 times pi minus 0 0.6088, which is 5.67. Okay. So in two decimal places, those are the two answers for actually uh, x, right? So, so those were the answers for x. So once we got this alpha, we calculated the value of x. Now for the second solution, let's say the acute angle for this one. So we are looking for tan, let's say beta, let's call this beta, equals to 4.3027, right? Now let me show you another way of doing it. Instead of finding uh, the acute angle first, we could, in case of tan, do it directly also. Uh, well, I'll show it later. First, let me do with acute angle. So in this case, we know beta equals to tan inverse of 4.3025. So what we get here is tan inverse 4.3025 equals to 1.34. 1.34. Okay. Now this is for beta, the acute angle for the second case. Right. Now what is the x value? So x value again, because it is negative, we are expecting in quadrant 2 and in quadrant 4. So the value will be, uh, x will be equals to pi minus 1.34. Okay. And the other one will be x equals to 2 pi minus 1.34. Is that okay? So let's do this. So it is pi minus 1.34. I rounded the initial number, which I should not have normally done anyway. The other one is 2 times pi minus 1.34, which is 4.94. Okay. So those are the solutions for the second value. So we get now four solutions, right? As expected, we expect four solutions. So our answer in this case is equal to, we can write all these four solutions, which are uh, 1.80, 4.94, 2.53, 5.67. All of them are in radians, right? So radian is a ratio. So even if you don't write radians, it is understood. Okay. So that's what, that's the way to get it. Now let's get back to finding answers directly 
for tan. Now that can work for tan, but it's very tricky for sine and cosine. So let me show you how to get the same answers directly using tan. Okay. So the first one was uh, this value for us. So we'll do tan inverse of negative value and see what we get. So we get tan inverse of negative 0.6972. Okay. Is equal to, we get one of our answers. Okay. Let's see. The answer is minus. Okay. So the trick is the, the answer is minus 0 0.608. Do you see that? Minus 0 0.60. So minus means we are saying this angle. Is it okay? Now, since the domain is from 0 to 2 pi, you cannot really write down this negative answer. So even then, you have to do some manipulations, right? So this minus is not accepted. So to get it, like in the counterclockwise, we have to add 2 pi to this. Is it okay? We have to add 2 pi to this to get the right answer. This, in fact, is same as what we got here, right? But it is in the negative direction. So, so we have to add 2 pi and do such kind of calculations, but that will give you only one value, not the second one. So that's a, that's a thing. And therefore, finding acute angle first and then the other two relevant angles is the right approach. Direct solution, if you try to do from here, you will land up with wrong solution. So my advice is do the way as we did here. I hope that helps. Thank you and all the best.